I was introduced to the world of podcasts probably about five years ago or thereabouts. Once you uncover the world of podcasts, it's like a whole new medium of entertainment has been opened up to you that you didn't even know existed before. Podcasts is to radio like what YouTube is to television. Basically, there's a podcast or kind of radio show tailored to suit every possible conceivable thing that you can think about. There are, at the time of recording, uh, this many podcasts in the world. And even then, that's just a very rough estimate because nobody really knows. There's hundreds of thousands of podcasts. Some are tiny little podcasts and some are massive commercial podcasts that are genuinely bigger than radio stations. Podcasts generally aren't live. They're normally pre-recorded. I think there are live podcasts out there, but generally you're going to be listening to stuff that was maybe recorded like a week ago or a couple of days ago or something like that. There are plenty daily podcast shows out there, like news related, current affairs and all sorts. By the way, if you're already into podcasts, you're probably going to find this video a little bit Billy basic, but I just wanted to open up this amazing world of entertainment to the millions and millions of people out there who don't even know it exists. So the best way to listen to a podcast is using a podcast app on your phone. So I'm assuming you've got like a smartphone of some description. All you need to do is install a podcast app on your phone. I'm Android based and you can do your own research as to what app you want to install. Um, just Google good Android podcast apps. Let's have a look. Here's an article here. They're recommending Pocket Casts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Pod Podcast Addict. And there's loads of other ones. Podbean, I think, is another one. And I use uh, Pocket Casts. The other thing I really like about Pocket Casts is that it has a desktop web player as well. So you can play your podcasts through a web interface on your computer. So if you work in an office or something like that, then you can have your podcasts going while you're at your desktop and it'll automatically synchronize to your mobile phone and you'll have the same podcasts on your mobile phone as well. I think I had to pay a little bit extra for the desktop version of it, but again, considering I use it all the time, I wasn't too bothered about that. YouTube isn't a great place to listen to podcasts unless it's a podcast that specifically involves video. You do get some YouTube channels where basically it's more of a video show and they also record it as a podcast. So they might be showing you stuff on the video show, video show. Anyway, they might be showing you stuff, but most podcasts don't work like that. Most podcasts are just audio, and therefore, as long as it's just a normal audio podcast, the easy thing to do is just listen it through a podcast app. Or as I say, Spotify or something like that will do the job as well. So all of the podcasts that are on here, I should also be able to find on Spotify. I couldn't tell you what app to use on Apple, St oh, let's just Google it, because people are going to ask. Overcast, apparently. Castro. Obviously, iTunes, I think you can just listen to podcasts through iTunes itself, but I'm not an Apple user. I don't know. Oh, it's Pocket Casts on iOS. I didn't even know that. And by the way, this isn't sponsored by Pocket Casts or anything. I'm not getting a penny to give them a mention. Trust me on that one. Loads of people have been complaining about it recently because they released like a new version and everyone started moaning on about it. I still really like it. And I had a look at some other apps and I still kept coming back to Pocket Casts, to be honest. So this is Pocket Casts. I'm showing you it kind of in landscape form on my phone just because it fills the screen up better. But... This is all the different podcasts that I'm subscribed to and whatnot. It's dead straightforward. All you do to subscribe to a podcast, you just click the little search thing. Let's subscribe to this awesome world famous podcast. And you just search for it by name. Click it, click subscribe, and then you can go through and see all the episodes and whatnot. And obviously you can sort this whichever way you want. Every podcast app is going to work in a slightly different way. So, but you get the general idea and you just click on the episode you want to listen to. Click play. 
about this, and I'm going to save it for the after show. Who's that nugget? Then, obviously, it remembers where you were up to on particular episodes and things like that. You can set up filters to show you new releases or podcasts that are in progress, or you might want to download an episode to listen offline. So you can do that with podcasts. So, for example, if I know that I'm going to be going somewhere with no internet connection, then generally what I'll do is I'll download a bunch of podcasts. So let's pick a random Hello Internet one. Just click on it. And if I do the download button there, so that then downloads the podcast onto my phone, and then I can listen it offline. With certain podcast apps as well, you can do like a discover thing where it'll show you trending podcasts that you might not know about, or you can search by different genres and all that sort of thing. Let's have a look in science and medicine. So here we've got all sorts, the birthday game, TED Talks. The key thing is, is that it's much easier to listen to a podcast through a proper podcast app like Pocket Casts than it is to use like YouTube or something like that. So just get yourself an app and your life will be infinitely easier. And the nice thing as well is that you can listen podcasts literally anywhere. So if I'm working at my desk and I want to listen to podcasts while I'm working, well, all I do is I go into the podcast app on my computer and you can see all the podcasts there that I listen to and whatnot. I'm in the middle of listening Evan and Caitlin. Some blurry lines there. We always Hi, Evan and Caitlin. So then if I have to go downstairs, go and make a cup of coffee or make my lunch or whatever, I can just obviously pause the podcast on here. Ignore the noise of the dishwasher. Grab my mobile phone. Bring up the podcast app on my phone. It's automatically synced to where I was listening to. And then I can just cast that to the TV in the kitchen. And then I can just control it from my phone, obviously, switch to a different podcast, whatever. Hello, Internet. Let's go back to Evan and Caitlin. And then, if I need to go out and I'm going to my truck, I've obviously I've paused the podcast. Hello, Blackbird. Wait for my phone to connect up to the uh, Bluetooth, which it will eventually. It takes a while to connect because it's Bluetooth. You see, goes after. Big there we go. Big I haven't touched anything at all, and it's just picked up from where I left off. And the nice thing about that is, when I leave my truck, obviously go off with my phone, go and do whatever I need to do, come back. I still haven't touched the podcast player at all. It does take a minute for it to reconnect through the Bluetooth, but I'm not touching anything. And what they do is they go after the big people who have the money yeah. who That's like, it. will post about it or like... like the awesome. People. Some podcasts will give you access to like Patreon only hidden RSS links and stuff like that. You don't need to know the technicalities of what that is or how it works. But basically it's like a private podcast that's only available to people who know the link. And to get access to like your Patreon only podcasts and things like that, all you do is go onto the Patreon channel of the podcast in question. And if you go on the overview tab and you'll see audio RSS link over on the right hand side. And all you do is you copy that link and then go into your podcast player and you just search for it in exactly the same way that you would search for any other podcast. So you just paste the secret RSS link into there. And then from there, you can just subscribe to it like any other podcast, and it'll always show up in your podcast player from there on in. One final little tip for you. If you ever have any problems with your podcast app, like it's not showing the right episode, or you just can't get it to show the podcast that you're wanting to listen to, 
as a last resort, you can almost always listen to the podcast from the website of the podcast. So, for example, Measuring Up Podcast is measuringuppodcast.com and all you do is find the episode that you want and you can just play it directly from within the web browser. If you're not sure where to find it, normally you can just Google it. So let's try Evan and Caitlin. A lot of people are searching for Evan and Caitlin's age and height. Sometimes you can take a wild stab in the dark and just put slash podcast at the end, but uh, it's not always that. Oh, check it out first time. And you can just drill into this and normally you can work out from here where to listen to it. So for example, here you can listen it on YouTube and then they've got loads of other links. I think it looks like they're on SoundCloud, which SoundCloud do things a little bit differently, but uh, let's try a different one. Let's try Hello Internet. There we go. So here's all the episodes and you can just drill in and literally just press play here and you can listen the podcast directly within the web browser. So if you're completely stuck and the app's not working properly or whatever, you can always just go to the website of the podcast. So there you go, folks. I hope you found that useful. Neatly tying in with all of this, my own podcast that I'm on with my good friend Peter Millard is back on the air on Monday the 30th of September 2019, the Measuring Up podcast season four springs back into life. So if you want to listen to two random blokes chatting about woodwork and joinery and making stuff in the UK, then get yourself subscribed to the Measuring Up podcast. Let us all know in the comments below what your favorite podcast app is and why. I think it's always quite interesting to get a lay of the land of how things are going in the world of podcast apps. I apologise in advance for introducing you to podcasts because you will lose your life in them, but they are awesome. Take care, folks. Be nice. See you next time. Bye.